our favorites, is uh, on the show. And uh, we haven't uh, talked about it much here, but Albert Pujols just passed Stan Musial in the all-time run batted in category. Oh, yeah? He's now sixth all-time, tied with, or soon to be, well, he's uh, 40 away from Lou Gehrig. Mm. Yeah, sixth on the all-time list. The home run records, Albert is seventh, and he's three or six away from Ken Griffey Jr. to be sixth on the all-time list with 624. Wow. The reason why I'm talking about Albert is because Todd Perry, the executive director of the Pujols Family Foundation. Uh, Todd, welcome back to the show. McGraw, Kelly, thanks for having me. Good to have you. Albert's been with the Angels for, this is seventh year? Six years? Yeah, I guess yes. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's been six or seven years. Seventh I have to, year, yeah. I have to count them. But. The reason why I, I, I bring it up is even though he left seven years ago, the foundation has stayed very much right here in St. Louis. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we we had a 11 year head start here, right. and uh, we had uh, um, and have about 850 families in our database of people with Down syndrome that we served during yeah. that time, and and it's just something that um, you know we're we, we certainly weren't going to abandon anything that we started. As a matter of fact, we're doing more now than we did when Albert was here. I mean, we continue our commitment with, uh, you know, the families we serve, and right. we just continue to grow our programming and events for people with Down syndrome. And it's, uh, you know, even though we're doing stuff in Southern California as well, right. but our commitment here is not not only, you know, continued, but yeah. it's actually grown. Yeah. Uh, and when you say serving the families, like what's some of the things that you do? Oh, my. We, we, we actually do over 100 events a year. Uh, we have, uh, our, our big thing is, it, and, and people, what people talk the most about is our prom, which yeah. uh, there's about 650 kids with Down syndrome that uh, we're going to do it at the Ritz this year. I mean, it's, you know, and, and, and that's just it. We, you know, this should be the biggest party in the city because these kids deserve it. And it's, um, you know, the smash band plays it. We have about 15 food vendors. I mean, it is the best party in the city. Yeah. And it's all for people with, with Down syndrome. Uh, but we have father-son events. We have mother-daughter events. We have bowling events. We have a, a basketball game that People with Down syndrome play Missouri Baptist University. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a new mother's luncheon where the new moms get together and they get to, um, you know, just kind of connect, share stories, and, and and start building relationships on this this new journey. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's there's you know dozens and dozens of events. We have cooking classes where you know just kind of life skill stuff. We have self defense and conflict resolution because you know that's the other side of of, of having a developmental disability is sometimes. It's not a nice place to live. Right. And sometimes you need, you know, conflict resolution and you need to get out of sticky situations. And so there's a lot of things that we do just on a daily basis just to serve this community. And, um, you know, I think, you know, and I always say it, our, our you know, uh, probably our greatest strength is our authenticity because Albert and Dee have a daughter with Down syndrome. Right. She's now 21. And, uh, wow. you know, it comes from a it comes from a real place. They right. understand, you know, Down syndrome certainly better than, you know, most of us. And. They know the, the holes and the gaps in the services, and that's really what we do is we try to fill those. It really is amazing how when we were growing up, right, Down syndrome kids weren't in the classes with us, right? right? right. They exactly. were shunned. They were put away. And now, thank goodness, right, they're mainstream. They go to regular classes. They're just like the rest of us. And how the rest of the kids have embraced the Down syndrome kids. Yeah, and, and, and I think that inclusion thing is really, really important when you when you start early. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when, when you go into kindergarten or you go into first grade and there's someone with a developmental disability that's there, they're, they're always there. Right. They yeah. go through the classes with you and, you know, you – they're just always there, you know. That's always right. you know, it's just, that's Joe. just that's, the way that's, it is. That's, right. that's you know Jane, yeah. and 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 yeah, and, and and I think that's one of the things that we see too is, um, like like in Albert's case, when when you when the oldest sibling has Down syndrome, um, and they're always there, the other kids just have this beautiful acceptance mm -hmm. of you know of, yeah. of people who are different and people who have disabilities and and yeah just um you know we we, we need more of it but it is great to see yeah. those type things happening i know albert enough to know that he gets surly from time to time but when <laughs> when when he is in the presence of kids yeah. uh the man just becomes a different person right i mean the man just sort of lights up he gets his energy that way yeah i i you know we, I, I say that all the time i mean there there is this light that comes on in him yeah that is um you know, everything just kind of shuts down, and he just really is focused on these kids, and um, it, it is really beautiful to see. Yeah. And we, we did when he, when he was playing here in St. Louis, we actually did a um, um, analysis of analysis of how he hits 
when he's around. Like when he comes from one of our events and then he goes to the game, he would, you know, he would always do well. I mean, it just kind of loosens him up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, and and there's dozens of these Ruthian stories of, you know, the kid with Down syndrome saying, you know, hey Albert, can you hit me a home run? And him actually going out and doing it. Right. And it's just yeah, it's just really beautiful. <laughs> on uh, I love that. But but you're absolutely right. He he does have a, just this heart for yeah. for these kids. Uh, I was down in uh, spring training down in uh, Scottsdale. I had a, a good seat for the Giants and the Angels. And the Angels sent their ninth string team, so mm. I didn't get to see our boy down there. Yeah, no Trout, no yeah. Albert, no nothing. Yeah. It was outrageous. Mm. I was so I was a Giants fan that day. So, yeah. but that's beside the point. All right. So, what do you have coming up here? What's this home run derby? Well, we uh, we've actually done this twice in Nashville just to kind of tune it up, but uh, we brought it to St. Louis, and we're really excited about it. The um, um, what it is? It's it's a home run derby where you know little leaguers, high school kids, college kids, even you know the weekend warrior corporate guys. Uh, we, we, we say from 9 to 99 can come and participate in a home run derby. We have four different qualifiers across the, the city. Uh, we have one northeast, south, and west. And um, what it is is you you sign up. It's $50 to sign up. You get the cool T-shirt. You get you know the, the swag. But um, you get a minute in the batter's box, and you hit as many home runs as you can. Now, if you need more than a minute, that's where the fundraising comes in because then you, you know, we, we have, you know, a, 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 an app that goes on um, online where you can send it out to your friends. And, but the more money you raise, the more time you get in the box. So okay. You can raise as much to get actually six minutes in the box, which is a long time to be swinging a bat. Right. So, um, you know, for, for those people who um, actually raise the money, come to the home run derby, the qualifiers, um, there's different age groups that you can participate in right and there'll be a winner in each qualifier from each age group and what we do is then we take those winners and we all go to bush stadium and that's where we do the finals and we get to hit home runs oh my goodness that out of bush stadium so cool. uh, now let's say there's a 51 year old talk show host who doesn't hit it as far as he <laughs> used to are the home run fences pulled in a little bit yeah absolutely okay. yeah we we have uh uh i think that the um the furthest the fence is is uh, let's see, eighteen to thirty nine. Um, I'm in the I'm in the higher. Well, eighteen group to that. eighteen <laughs> eighteen to ninety nine. Actually, okay. it's it's two seventy five, okay. which is still a. I mean, yeah, it's, still a, it's it's a poke, but at least yeah. it's a fighting chance. Exactly. Okay. Good. All right. So when is this all happening? How how do we? What's... Well, actually, we we have uh, the qualifiers start. Uh, there's two in August. Um, the, the Old Fallon one and then the St. Peter's ones in August. Uh, in September, we have Viani, and then we have Maryville. Uh, but what we need people to do is sign up today. I mean, okay. if you go to, um, you know, it's, it's uh, St. Louis Home Run Derby um, dot com. Right. And then you sign up and you can have uh, uh, start your fundraising and then come out and start hitting home runs. And and here's the other cool thing is we have like different things where, um, you know, like on the fences, you know, if you if you don't hit a home run and you hit. Hit it here. You, Hit it here. You, you want can, a Nathan's hot dog or something along yeah, those exactly. lines, right? So yeah. it, you know, there, there's some fun interaction too mm-hmm. if you just want to come out and hit baseballs. Okay, so it's to sign up. It's fifty bucks. To sign up, it's fifty bucks. And then to raise money to max out your time is how much? Do well, we, it's it's different. It's different for levels. each age group. Yeah, because there's you know there's tchotchkes and, and swag that you get, and then along the way, along the way, and then you get time in the box, and then. It maxes out. I think it maxes out like at twenty five hundred dollars for the six minutes, which gotcha. isn't a lot of you know. It's it's a lot of money, but it's sure. not a tremendous amount of money right. to get the maximum of six minutes in the box. Okay, mm. so the qualifiers begin uh, in, in August. So you've got uh, sign up now, take a couple swings, right? Uh, take a couple batting practice, go take take your swings, and then get get ready for the qualifiers, uh, and then the finals November third at Bush Stadium. I have taken batting practice at Bush Stadium. It is one of the most fun things you can do. So it is worth it to try and get and do this because it is memories and, and pictures that will last a lifetime. So go to St. Louis or STL Home Run Derby dot com. Yes. St. Louis Home Run Derby dot com to get involved. STL. Oh, STL. STL STL Home Run Derby dot com. Can we go to the Pool Holes Foundation? Is there a link there on the website? Uh, yeah, there's 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 information on the site, okay. um, and then there's a link there that okay. can get you there. All right, and right. the website for the foundation is it's poolholesfamilyfoundation.org. Mm-hmm. Poolholesfamilyfoundation.org. So it's out there on Google to go and find it. Um, you mentioned an app. Is there an app too with all this? Uh, I, I, I I'm I'm an old guy. The 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 app is on 
the website. It's, it's on the website. On the yeah, website. Yeah, the, boy, you are an old guy. That's the thing. Just yeah. go to that Google thing. Yeah, that, that. Yeah, the Google. <laughs> go yeah. to the Google. Go to that Mr. Google and download St. Louis STL Home Run Derby.com. Also, Pujols Family Foundation. Uh, ages 9 to 90. It is a fun event. You will have a blast and raise money for a uh, great cause. Todd Perry, uh, tell Albert we said hi. Will do. Tell Dee we said hi. Tell the kids we said hi. And uh, we'll see you soon. We miss you in Westport, buddy. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're, we might be going back there. Don't tell well, anybody. Well. Breaking news. <laughs> just used between to, us. He used to come by every now and then, and we'd just we'll catch pop up. Pop in. And, yeah. 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 So yeah. it was, uh, yeah. Well, I, got my, um, I got my Wheaties box signed by uh, Bruce Jenner, courtesy of the oh, Pool Halls Foundation. Oh, I remember that and Wheaties one, box. One of the charity events. Yes. 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 And uh, Jason Isringhausen, I'll never forgive him. I was at a Pool Hulse event, and he outbid me for a Nolan Ryan uh, jersey, a uh, Mets Nolan Ryan jersey. Wow, still bitter? It's very bitter. Yeah. Yes, as a matter of fact, very bitter. Thank you, Todd.